I can nudge the clips by one frame if I hold Command on Mac or Control on Windows and use my arrow keys to the left or my arrow keys to the right. Now let's say I only wanted to move the video portion of the clip, but I did not want to move the audio. There's two ways to do it. The first way is to turn link selection off with this icon in your timeline. So I'm gonna click that. Now, if I click on either the video or the audio, it will only highlight that specific section and I will hold command and use my arrow keys and we get an indication in the top left corner of the clip just how far off sync we've moved this clip. This is a good time to also show you that you can hold command and shift to move your clip in intervals of five instead of one. One other thing you might wanna do is nudge the clip up or down a track. I'll turn my link selection on because that's probably what it is at D default for you. And now both clips are highlighted. If you hold option on Mac or alt on Windows and use the up key or the down key, it will nudge the clip up or down a track. Obviously, I'm overriding all of those clips, which I don't want to do. And I just want to move my video clip. So another way that you can select just the video portion and not the audio while link selection is turned on is to hold option and then select it. So right now I'm only have my video clip selected. If I were to move this over here and then click off and click back on, notice that they still move in tandem because both of these clips are linked together. The indication for a clip linked together is this V. If I were to unlink these, so I'm gonna right click and unlink, notice that that V goes away, but I'm gonna undo that and just show you that if I hold option and click this clip, it will only highlight the video. And now I can hold option and use the arrow keys to only move my clips up or down. One place that this really comes in handy is something like this. Let's say I wanted to move all these clips down like so, or if I was picking selects on these clips, I'll hit option up. Maybe I'll hit option up on this clip, uh, option up on this clip. So for this example, these three clips on track two are my selects and I can highlight these clips, right click and go to ripple delete. That effectively gets rid of all of my scratch takes and leaves me with a nice clean looking string out of my selects. One last scenario to cover is maybe you want to nudge this clip left or right, but you don't wanna change the in and out point, meaning that you don't wanna change the in and out point on the timeline, but you do wanna change the in and out point visually of the clip. If that doesn't make sense, which it kinda of didn't to me when I was explaining it, let me show it to you. So right here is the slip tool. To reiterate, I do not want to change the edit point of my in or end point of my clip, but I just wanna change the in and out point visually of the clip. So if I click and drag with the slip tool, the visual that you see on the left is going to be the first frame now, and the visual that you see on the right is going to be the last frame. So if I were to move this way over here to the left, now the clip starts in the same spot, but the visual has more beans inside that cup. If I were to hit undo, notice that this was our original start point. And just like before with the minute adjustments where we can hold command and use our arrows, there are keyboard shortcuts to slip your clip left or right. So if I hit option command K to bring up my keyboard shortcuts or alt control K and look up the word slip, Right here are those keyboard shortcuts. So if I wanna do left one frame, it's option command left. If I wanna do left five frames, option shift command left. So if I hold option and command and hit the left arrow key, it will slip the clip one frame every single time I hit it. If I hold shift, it will slip the clip left five frames every time I hit it. Same thing over here, if I wanna go back the other way, I can do so. Notice that the end point of the clip is not changing. The duration of this clip is not changing whatsoever. I'm just slipping the in and out times of this clip. Hopefully that makes sense. Hit that thumbs up if that was helpful. And until next time, my name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.